Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. We are here. Um, I am not Jason, and this is not <laughs> this is not Jordan. Not Jordan. I know. Absolutely not Jordan. We're much better looking than both of them. So, uh, we are here in charge today for some reason. They let us stand here. Well, Matt's here for a reason because he knows how to paint. Um, I don't know why I'm here. I'm just I'm just here. How are you guys doing? Everybody good, doing well. Hope everyone's doing Hello. pretty pretty good today. Hello, not Accurate. Jason and not Jordan. Yes. We are not Jason and not, not, Jordan. Jason and not Jordan. I am I am Payson and he is Morden. <laughs> Who's, Who's your favorite villain and Jason? why is it villain? <laughs> <laughs> it's always me. I I have a very special model for you guys today. That line never gets old. It, no, dude, I'm so glad that people <laughs> still use it, despite me having used it at the I did use it at the Christmas stream like ten times. Every time someone new came in, I'd said it. No, no, T. Schmidt. Jason, when he was leaving, said, I have to keep Jen in, char- in check. Actually. So I'm actually in charge while Jason is gone. You know, well, in the, but then Philip's not here tomorrow. I'm not so here tomorrow, unfortunately. That's why I said free reign for Jen tomorrow. Yeah, she's gone. Then he left Shelby in charge. Of everybody. Shelby's also not here tomorrow. Perfect. Uh, so nobody's in charge. We're going to have a good day tomorrow. Tomorrow's yeah. a great day. <laughs> Does Jen, Jen go wild, wild tomorrow? tomorrow? Yes. Jen goes wild tomorrow. Completely Tune into the stream and feral. find out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. You use your airbrush and pro curl to match the color of a cabinet for its new door. Awesome. That's awesome. Hey, that's pretty That's cool. great. Add that to the list of unexpected Things we uses could do. for pro curl. I had to fix... Um, my, my parents broke one of their friend's lamps when they were moving. Like the little like gold knob on top, mm-hmm. and so I had to use, I had to you use our paint. It? it was like a matte gold, you know, it was like a painted on gold. Yeah, yeah and yeah, I had yeah. to use our colors to like color oh, match and like fun. fix the little chip on it. Nice. So, so, lamp repair also on the list. Someone should create a list. Do we have a notepad anywhere? It just has a, a list of non 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 hobby related, related things yeah. <laughs> that we could do with pro curl paints. We can get a whiteboard for that, too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How many whiteboards do you have back there, Jen? There's got to be at least, like, five. I mean, I don't have any. Well, I have one, but it's not even hanging on my wall. It's still oh. in the box. There we go. I need to get that hung up on the wall. Nobody's in charge. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be crazy. No one's in charge tomorrow. Nobody's Philip's in gone. Charge. Shelby's gone. Ooh. Is it? Is it? It's and it's me and Gabe tomorrow, yeah? I have no idea. No, uh, it's... Is, Oh, it's just you and me tomorrow? Yeah. Well, oh. Gabe, Gabe will be here. Oh, oh, but Gabe's producing. Gabe's be producing. Gabe's produce. I'm well, going to uh, Shelby was originally going to. scheduled to paint, with but then she remembered. She's like, oh, but I'm not going to be here. Not going to so. be here. Wow. She's not going to be here, so I said, I will step in. Tomorrow, Tomorrow's going to be hot. Tomorrow's going to be Don't miss it. Tomorrow's gonna be It'll something. be something. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't something. painted in a long time. <laughs> That's all right. Get the, that feeling of... of uh, I don't remember how to do it. Jen, your blending is some of the best I've ever seen. Well, and thank you. and you paint like I my blending is awful and I paint like once or twice a week. <laughs> <laughs> and yours is it's, it's an obsession. It's it's great. That's it's, it's good. I am it's amazing. When I have something in my mind, yeah. I become obsessed and I can't let it go. So Did Adepticon prove that Wad is actually Paint Ninja? I'm not sure. I mean I I believe he got the he got what he needed. Yeah, he got others. what he needed. So yeah. I think I think he's I, I good. Think so. Confirmed. Yeah. Paint Ninja. Yeah. Source got your first can of goop today. Ooh, Yet first to try one. It. Smells okay, but we need to talk about the taste. Um, um, most people don't like the smell. I think it smells great. It smells I, like I beer. It smells good. It yeah. smells good. Yeah. The hoppy smell. And 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 we're not going to talk about the taste because you're not supposed to eat it. <laughs> Modular is not a food product. <laughs> not a food product. Do Even not though eat. it does have things in it that are edible. I mean, I think everything does to an extent. It's just That's to true. what extent is it edible? That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is Everything's edible, edible if you're brave once. enough. <laughs> Don't eat our paint, though, please. All right. What are you painting today, Matt? What do you I'm, got for us? I'm painting um, Samurai Girl from Mindworks Studios. Let me get that. Yeah, get it in frame. frame. There we Re- go. Yeah, bear with us. That's going to be a learning process yep. for all of us. Yep. Um, nice. Cool model. Leaving the blade off for now because it is so fragile. I don't want it to break during transport. Yeah. Um, so I will. I will get that on there eventually. But um, yeah. That's a Sweet. fun little character. What? What is it from? It's from Mindworks. Works. It's one of ours. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 I am not up to speed on the newest Mindworks models. Right That's now. one of the first ones we got. It's not new. <laughs> <laughs> we it came in the first batch. <laughs> It was just one of the smaller ones. Yeah, I think it's a I little think, bitty. I think Morgana Le Fay kind of like 
overshadowed yeah, everything okay. that came in the first batch because okay. that was the one that went hot. That was the really that's the really hot. That was hot the one. Yeah. yeah. Hello, nerd gun painting. Nothing new with Hello. us. Well, I mean, other than me and Matt being here today. Yeah. <laughs> other than everything being different, nothing's new. Um, I am painting my first ever Space Marine today. Ooh. I've never painted a Space Marine. You have never painted a Space Marine? Mm-mm. Because you don't play that game? I, I know. I mean, I do, but I play I play Xenos, so I play Tyranids. So I've oh. never had to paint a so Space Marine. So what, what prompted you to paint the Space Marine today? I am... Submitting a Golden Demon next year at Adepticon, Ooh. and I think one of the models that I currently am interested in painting is an Imperial Fist character model from Horus Heresy. Uh -huh. So I am practicing now on all the little guys, and then when when I get a little more comfortable with how to paint Space Marines and the color scheme that I want to do, I'll go a little all That's in on awesome, on the big guy. Philip. So that is what I'm doing. Very cool. So today is testing day, I like uh, it. just to see if I like the colors that I have picked out for the scheme. No idea if it's going to look good at all. But that's what we're doing. I should probably close this phone up and shake it. Uh, Panic Bomb wants to know what chapter you're painting. Uh, this is going to be Imperial Fist because the, the character model that I'm painting, what is his name? Something Garius. It, it's, oh, I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. It's going to bug me. <laughs> Bakamara said, no, wait, you can still stop and paint anything else. Don't I know. It, that's, that, I've put it off for so long, very intentionally. So, <laughs> No, I also may paint Sigvald, who's a lot very non-metallic metal armor yeah so i need to practice armor regardless um and space marines th this hear me out relatively space marines and bunches are cheap yes <laughs> yes relatively speaking compared to well, other you models. get uh, you get 20 in a box yeah, for exactly. Horus heresy. yeah exactly yeah. so that's what i have i have a box of horse heresy i bought 20 space marines off of uh, one of my friends and he built them so i can't attest to their build quality but at least right. you didn't have to build them that's exactly. I didn't have to build it. I just had to prime it. I had to clean it a little bit, and I didn't clean it that well. There's some seam lines still that I'm just not going to care about. It's Gary. Gary Garius. I don't think it's Gary Game Delay. Gary. Gary. I don't think it's Gary Garius. I think it starts with an E. Uh, uh, Game Delay also has never painted a Space Marine. Good. So don't. another first for you. Yes. To lead, lead the lead So the Game Delay is in charge of telling me how to do this, since, he's, never, <laughs> since he's also never done this. We can ride this high together. Where? What chat am I looking for? I need to find Jordan's chat. There it is. Is it Torgaradon? No, it is... Where is it? Lord Castellan Evander Garius. That is the model that I currently am interested in painting for Golden Demon. But I might change. So I am starting... It's going to be yellow, Imperial Fist. I'm starting with Orange Oxide, one of the new colors. Nice. Because I need to start dark and work my way up to the lightness. Because... Yep. Yellow does not do good over black. Surprise, surprise to everybody involved. Captain Mannerly, Mannering said, apart from everything being different, nothing's new. Nothing's <laughs> new, apart from everything being Sounds completely different. Sounds like GW different. rules. Yeah, pretty much. Where did I put that color? There it is. I have to also fight with Jason Slavic. being left-handed. Yes. All of his stuff is to my left, so if you see me reaching across, yeah. that is why. The palette's over here. I was able to get space over here for this. We're just going for it. I don't, am, I in, am I in frame? Yep. Yep. All right. We're good. Stream is choppy for Tim. We have 0.0% 0. 0 drop frames. Not choppy for us. I'm not using my two. I need to be using my four here. Wet. Too wet. Paint looker step one is not eat the paint. Not eat the paint, please. Thank Do you. Not eat the paint. Uh, also, B paints. First of all, if it's a question that it, you really have and you really don't know the answer, it is not a dumb question. It's not a dumb question. <laughs> I may uh, give you a dumb answer. Do the gray <laughs> and brown fine basing textures have the same texture and just different colors? Yes. Yes. They're both fine texture, because they both also come in coarse texture. If the majority of people are right-handed, wouldn't that make the others wrong-handed? I yuck, mean... Yuck. <laughs> Guys got jokes. <laughs> I agree with that sentiment wholeheartedly. Jason and Jordan paint wrong-handed. I think everyone in this room is right-handed today. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. We're good. <laughs> yeah. If I've made any ups anybody upset. We got the righties on stream today. The righties are on now stream. I can learn. 
I'm, I'm all for righties. You know, I could have airbrushed this, and I opted not to. <laughs> I'm immediately regretting that decision, but oh well. Game delay, you sound like me with my driving glasses and my painting class painting glasses. If I have my driving glasses on, I cannot read anything in reading distance. I can only see far away. But when I have my painting glasses on, everything up close is really crisp and clear, including like my phone and the computer and all the <laughs> things that I read. Yeah. We're gonna get sloppy. Uh, I'm taking my time, and I shouldn't be. I want to paint this thing fast. That's uh, your first first layers, right? Yep, okay. first layers. I'm just gonna start slamming it down. Go we'll ham. Get, we'll get there. Just full send it. Yeah. How are you painting yours, Matt? What's the, um, what's the thought process on it so far? Well, I, I painted, so uh, obviously the, the, the skin here is a, a big part of the model along with the fabric. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I decided to kind of go with two, um, kind of two color flavors, um, your, your flesh tones and then purple for pretty much everything else, purple and black for everything else. It's just going to mm -hmm. be... Um, some variant of purple for the cloth um, and the armor, mm -hmm. um, and then just accenting it with uh, with bold pearl red um, on on some of these little accent points here. Um, so I'm trying to be relatively neat and tidy with this since I'm jumping around a lot. Yeah, um, just trying to play with the color relationships. You know, I didn't want the skin to look. I was afraid. With such a vibrant purple that the skin would end up looking too yellow. Yeah. Um, and that I would have to offset that. But I'm also using purple in the shadows for it as well. Um, so that that seems to be kind of kind of neutralizing that a little bit. Um, also worked in some dark magenta glazes. Ooh. Um, just to to warm it up a little bit and and. Like I said, kind of offset some of the the yellow tones that are that were showing up because like your um, warm flesh and dark warm flesh air on the mm -hmm. the yellow side versus mm -hmm. your your reds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, that's been the logic so far. Sounds um, logical to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's been working out pretty well. So I got I got one leg. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't call it done, but it's yeah. it's resolved. It's got its highlights, its shadows, yeah. its colors are there, um, and uh, and it's given me a good roadmap to. When work you turn on it, that else. shadow on the back is really good. Nice, it's thank really you. Cool. Yeah, I think it looks great. Oh yeah, and the shadow down by her knee on the front too, like on the inside. Mm-hmm. Super cool. Super cool. So today I'm I'm aiming to just get some um, get some work in on the fabric a little more and play around with that. Yeah. Um, before I really dive back into the flesh tones again. So there's going to be a lot of correcting back and forth because I'm going to get purple on the skin at some point or black or black. Yeah. Yeah. Bound to happen. I'm just kind of all over the place right now. I'm just like... So, Philip, what was, um, like, the one of the highlights or some of the highlights of Adepticon for you this year? Mm. Um, Adepticon's always my favorite show to go to of the ones that we go to. So far, at least. We may, you know, if we ever go to other ones, who knows. Um, but of the ones I've been through, is my favorite. I think the energy that comes alongside that show is different than a lot of our other shows mm -hmm. that we go to. Mm -hmm. It's a lot higher, a lot more excited. Um, it's such a hyper-focused um, show. Mm -hmm. It's not like board games. It's not right. It's not Comic-Con. It's just, it's wargaming and painting. Yep. Yeah. And that's kind of it. And so the crowd, while it's 
it feels really big when you're in there because it's not a huge venue. Uh, it's big. I mean, it's big, but everyone's just so excited and happy to be there and just like really cool, like excited to meet us, excited to like hang out with other people, excited to play their games. Some of the tournaments people feel like take a lot less seriously. Like going to LVO, it's like that's the yeah. Everyone's there to try their hardest and bring the medalists. But then I talk to people who are doing their tournaments at Adepticon and they're just like, oh yeah, like me and my friend just threw something funny together and we're running the doubles 40k. Like yeah. people are just there to have fun and hang yeah. out. So the energy is just a lot of fun. Yeah. So for me, I think that is just a high like a high point the whole weekend. Uh huh. But then just getting to like meet a lot of people that obviously that we see in stream and we mm -hmm. talk to and have jokes with in the stream is really fun uh names to faces is always yeah. good for me because i'm mm -hmm. awful at name i'm great at faces oh really so I, yeah oh yeah i i if you meet me in person like for the first time i 1000 percent guarantee i forgot your name in the first five minutes uh, oh that, that's true for me <laughs> like, too but i and, also can look at someone and forget that i met him so. no i'll remember <laughs> yeah, i'll remember well, a face forever i won't remember where i remember yeah, it from but i'll be like, like i know you. i know that person and i don't well, know that's, why yeah because you you didn't you meet a girl and then like years later you're like she, I know her and she was on The Bachelor. Yep. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. We. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's a funny story. Me and my buddies were out drinking one night uh, in my heyday, and we ran into this girl at like a we were at a, a bar in California called the Bungalow, which is like an old '70s style beach house that they turned into a like they bought and turned into a bar, but left yeah. the house kind of just the same. Yeah. And so, we and my we ran into this me and two of my friends ran into this group of girls that were there at like a birthday party or something. We ended up talking to them for a while. They were all loud and obnoxious. We were just there, like, having a drink and hanging yeah. out. But they kept talking to us. And so months later, me and my friends sit down to, like, watch The Bachelor. And we're like, that girl seems really <laughs> familiar. <laughs> I don't know where we know her. And it took us the whole first episode. If you've watched The Bachelor, the whole first episode is hilarious to begin with. You mm -hmm. should watch it. Um, but it's like, it's like two hours long, the first yeah. episode, where they introduce all these people. And so we spent the whole episode trying to figure it out. And then we finally, one of my, my friend was like, like, did we meet her at the bar? And then all of us simultaneously like, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's Sarah. And then for the rest of the show, we were like rooting for her the whole time. That's awesome. It was very funny. Polygon went to the hobby store, bought more pro, pro acryl. Awesome. Good. Nice. Just nice. A holy, holy endorse that decision. Yes. I yes. support it. <laughs> we support this. I'll always support that decision. Uh, Captain Mannerings wants to know, uh, are you talking Captain at Adepticon? The top hobby moments at Adepticon? Like, any What's the question? cool models that you saw? Uh, I mean, the Golden Demon models were the all Demon. great this year. I like those a lot. Um, By the way, the uh, Slayer Sword winner paints with all pro krill all pro krill Ooh, yeah. i did not know that yes. you didn't you did. Yeah. did you see it i did see it. oh my yeah, gosh it's incredible crazy it's very right? good yeah painted yeah. pro krill he's one of our monumentals he is he's a really nice guy too i got i got the chance to meet him and a lot yeah. of the other artists for golden demon um super sweet super cool like very nice obviously excited to talk about how he did what he did yeah yeah um it was a it was a really cool like process and just like listening to him be excited about it i think that's a lot of it too yeah going and standing around the golden demon stuff and just listening to a lot of the artists who are just hanging out by their spot just the excitement in their voice while they talk about right. what they did and how yeah. they did it and how long it took them to work on it yeah and a lot of them just a sense of relief they're like i'm finally done it's done. It's here. I don't have to yeah. stress anymore. I just have to wait for, you know, wait for judging. Yeah. So that was always fun. And it's very interesting because I was like walking around. Because if you've ever been, they put them all in cabinets in this big island in the middle of a room. And you have to just like Walk shimmy around. Yeah. shimmy around it because yeah. everyone's right. stopping and looking. Yeah. So it's just like kind of this agreed upon circle that everybody walks in and you just stand and shimmy. And then you're uh -huh. standing in front of one case for like 10 minutes and you're shimmying. Yeah. <laughs> the guy behind me had submitted for the... Um, one of the 40k like units category yeah um and so he was talking to me though i mean he's just behind me going through as well he wanted to see his own piece but he wanted to look at everything else mm -hmm. and he was talking to me the whole time and he's just like we came to his piece gorgeous by the way i think he got gold oh, wow. um uh what was his name um it was kim something I remember his face but not his name. i remember his face <laughs> there, there's kim in there somewhere um but he, his piece was magnificent. Like oh. I said, I'm pretty sure he won gold in his category. And we get to his piece, and he's just like, oh, I could have done this better. I wish I'd done that better. I don't like the composition. Like, just 
But then every every other piece that he got to, he's just like nothing but praise yeah. Yeah. for every single Aww. piece that he was looking at. Yeah. He's like, I really like We're how they did this. It's really ourselves. good. It was awesome. What and it was for me. It was interesting because he was asking me like, Oh, how would you have done this different? My yeah. friend submitted this piece. Why do you think he, he should he submit it over here? I'm like. Uh, I'm not. Did he know that you were affiliated with? Monica? No, no, I had no he idea. He's behind me. I had a jacket on. Yeah. I was talking. I was hanging out with Byron, so I was with the artist Opus guys. Okay. But like, yeah, he had no idea who I yeah. was. We were just all there talking. So yeah. just kind of that like barrier that a lot of I feel like a lot of people have with like these artists. They're uh -huh. like, oh, they're like these on another. They're a celebrity kind yep. of thing. It's like just nope. They're just normal they're people, just people hanging out. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. So I think yeah. I like that for Adepticon as well. It was just the it's amount of cool barrier Ron breaking that you get to do. Negative CHA said Kwon Ho Kim. Yes, yeah. Kwon Ho Kim. Kwon Ho Kim. Where did I put my... You can tell he used all pro curl because he's so charismatic and happy. <laughs> so charismatic and happy. <laughs> Alex, yeah. <laughs> I saw um, the video of like when they announced him being the Slayer Sword. Slayer Sword. Yeah. And just the, the way he went, and it was like all dramatic and... You know, oh he yeah, goes they up and he have lifts to. the sword up. And like, they have to put a little. <laughs> it was funny. I was talking to the GW guys. Um, they normally don't sharpen that sword. Uh huh. Like it's usually pretty dull. They still put a little chainmail sure. hand on it. <laughs> Whoever made it this year sharpened it like to a razor's edge. Oh wow. seriously? So they had to have it in like a hole, like on the he table display. Like they that. had to have it in a little like have a wood holster that yeah. mounted to the table so the sword wouldn't spin and cut people as they were walking <laughs> by it. So <laughs> this year that the, the chainmail actually headline, did something. It? <laughs> yeah. It was very Tragedy funny. Strikes gaming convention. Yeah. <laughs> Model lose. Famous painter loses right yeah. finger. Oh. <laughs> Career ruined. Ruined. Over. <laughs> Jade wants a sharp a sharp sword. Oh yeah. Who doesn't? Negative charisma. Oh, negative okay. charisma. Because uh, negative C H A. Ah. Strength is S T R. Intelligence I N T. Charisma C H A. C H A. Thanks. Game delay. Over here saying negative C H A. Negative C H A. <laughs> That's three capital letters. <laughs> I mean. Cha. Hey. Negative charisma. You can always Thank count on game delay. <laughs> Thank you, game delay. Da, 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 da. That. Um, I thought I thought Riz meant charisma. Isn't that what the kids say? Isn't that what? Isn't that what? That I thought, is, I'm that pretty is, sure that is what it means. That yeah. is that is what Riz is short for. But C H A is the abbreviation that's used in a lot of like role playing games. It's an abbreviation for a charisma stat. How many other random acronyms for charisma are there? I, We're up to two, which I, is I, two I more than know. I thought there was going to be. Yeah. <laughs> well, negative charisma met most of you guys at Adepticon. Oh, nice. Yeah, I mean, we were all there. It was a lot of fun. What was your favorite part of Adepticon for people that were there? Okay, I said I heard people say it in another stream. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I didn't. Kimberly, are you ever news. not in the Thank stream? Thank you. <laughs> well, Hot Tomato's favorite part was pumpkin bread. Pumpkin bread, dude. That pumpkin <laughs> bread was so good. Jade said one of my players uses the term a lot. You mean, I, I'm assuming Riz. Riz or Charisma? Probably Riz. Because then she said she's old enough to be his mom. <laughs> so I'm assuming it's Riz. If they're using Riz unironically, I'm pretty sure yeah. most of us are old enough to be their parents. <laughs> and meeting everyone. Yes, meeting everyone was very fun. <laughs> that I'm a long, long-haired, bearded guy. There's a ton of us. Yeah. There's a ton of us. <laughs> there really are. I remember that from like one yeah, of my first Adepticons. I, I, look, I'm I like, looked look at, at all a, these uh... bearded guys, <laughs> and what's with all the kilts? I saw, uh, yeah, I saw a lot of their kilts. Always, but a lot of times, it seemed like the kilt guys always had beards, too. It's true. They, the kilts <laughs> and beards do go hand in yeah. hand. They do go hand in hand. Yeah, yeah. I saw an aerial photo of, of, of Comic-Con, and or not Comic-Con, but of um, 
Oh, Adepticon. Adepticon. Yeah. And uh, and I, I made it. I made a joke to my wife that it just looked like a sea of comic book guys from The Simpsons. Oh um, yeah, <laughs> it does. It really does. Have you ever been to a show like that, Matt? No. Oh gosh. No, okay. I've never been able to go. It's it's either either by the time I realize that it's going on, I'm like, oh, it's too late for me to travel, yeah. or or you yeah. know, I just never planned for yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's Matt. an experience. It is an experience. We'll, we'll get you on the on the uh, rotation if you have an interest. But it's uh, oh, 100%. it's it's it is it's, it's fascinating. Um, the first time I went, I, I I mean we were not Monument. We were still Slow Fuse Gaming. Sure. And we were. Jason was just there in the booth painting with the Long War guys. They had a little tiny yeah. little booth. Yeah. And they would come by and just hang out between their rounds of their tournament that they did and jason painted and we had paint brushes and i think brush soap yeah that we sold you didn't have white yet huh you didn't have white i don't think so i think that might have even been before white that's crazy um and uh yeah i was like i had no idea what to expect and i was surprised at (sighs) The volume of people but also right. just the the like i said the number of like big bearded guys i don't know why <laughs> lots of lots expected. of bearded guys um i think i had a stereotype of the type of person that would be there um but just yeah so many different types of people yeah you know from all walks of life right oh right. well, yeah it's very cool it's very interesting but it's a lot of fun, and every every and and everyone's there for the same, the same reason, yeah. the same You're thing, all, yeah. All there yeah. to celebrate they all have the, the hobby, same, some and... kind of interest in that in the yeah. hobby or gaming, and yeah, it's a very very cool environment. Uh, Jade said, "I was so happy to witness a young girl submitting her golden demon entry, maybe twelve years old. Her parents were with her, and they were so proud. And the team checking her in were so encouraging to her. Probably my favorite moment at Adepticon. Oh. That is amazing. That's always so sweet to see. I love that. She said, "I'm not embarrassed to admit I got a bit choked up. I would too." It's gonna be me next year. That's a yeah. That's a great story. Do they have a category for like? Yeah, it's called Young kids? Bloods. Oh, okay. Fifteen yeah. and under. I know a lot of them do because we do um, work with. Um, we're with a lot of no, schools. I'm gonna forget that it's hey, Aaron and Liz. Are they miniature us. monthly? Maybe. I couldn't tell you off the top. And of my they head. do I'm painting competitions, and, and mm. they have like a young blood category for kids and stuff. I think that's awesome. Yeah, I think it's really cool. A lot of them are really good. I like I like the young bloods category because they're just kids. They're like, what would look? What would be cool? Yeah, and yeah, they just exactly. do it. They're Before not thinking. It, they're not thinking. Too, it. Yeah, yeah, there's lots exactly. of slime everywhere and like blood. Yeah. And like they're just doing what they think is fun. Yep. They're not and worried not, about not, not worried about the competition. About yeah, it. composition. Yeah. Does it look well on the plinth? Does the plinth match well? They don't yeah. care. No. Yeah. And so you see a lot of just unique stuff, and some of them execute very, very well. Well, yeah. and that's refreshing. I've seen some pretty I, I, I try and approach my painting like that. Yeah, yeah. It's it was it was very refreshing not to see. Major. No, it's just painting. It's supposed to be fun. It should be fun. Yeah. So just the innocence of children was. It was very cool to see a lot of them, and some of them, like I said, some of them were very good. I was very surprised. Sparky Commission said, loved meeting the Monument people. Absolutely love your paints. And at Thank the you. Demon, I got notable entry with nearly all your paints on my entry. Yeah. That's that awesome. Which one was awesome. yours? We are always so proud to hear that our paints have been used in competition entries. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Which, uh, what did you submit? Or what category? Nerd gun painting. I, I I don't understand this, but I'm still gonna read it because I assume everybody else will. <laughs> Everyone else will it. understand it. Said maybe. if you remember back in the early GW days, beardy used oh. to mean the same as cheese or metagaming. I do yeah. remember seeing that yeah. in some for army articles. Okay, so yeah. you know what because I don't yeah. know I don't get the cheese metagaming thing. So it means it coincidence? I think not. <laughs> Meta stands for most effective tactic available. Oh. I think something like that. Yeah. So meta means using whatever is the best, the best thing in the game that's currently oh. in the rules. So when someone says meta list, they're talking about what is, they're running just the top, 
they're running the best thing humanly possible that is most effective statistically yeah. um thank you that is you're welcome. really helpful information yes and i probably am not gonna remember it but i'll remember maybe meta means, means good important. i won't meta remember just means what it stands yeah. for don't have to I'll, I'll hopefully remember that it means I, I don't think most people who use that word know what it actually okay. stands for because I, I think most people when they say meta they're talking about whatever um Almost like a common practice. Yeah. Yeah. What what is most prevalent yeah. in your local in whatever environment you're talking about, whether yep. it might be a national tournament scene right. or a local comp- competition. In the meta. Yeah. Yes. Whatever's in the meta. Yeah. Wad tomatoes with me. It was today years old when I learned what meta stood for. You're welcome. <laughs> Leave it to me to know obscure so facts that most teach. people don't. Beep, boop, boop. Matt, you were right. Doing this over black, terrible idea. That's all right. The airbrush is right there. Nah. <laughs> I told, I like, I was telling Matt before we started, like, he's yeah. like, you can airbrush it if you want. I'm like, nah. I like understanding, like, volumes and lighting and stuff by doing it by hand instead of, like, the airbrush is great. It's a wonderful tool. Uh, I sh- you know, later on, I'll definitely incorporate it just to go faster. But first time through, I want to understand like how things work and how it goes. So I want to do it by hand first. Totally. Plus, nice. if I airbrush this, I'll be done before two hours, and then I'll just be standing here <laughs> watching you guys do stuff, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'd rather have something to work on when I get home. Corvus Thorax, hello. Mm-mm-mm. I'm just being sloppy anyways. I could be doing this. Negative better. charisma said I got notable as well with all pro curl. I submitted a single AOS alpha chameleon skin. Oh, very nice. Meta gaming and D and D when you use your player knowledge, when you should be role playing the character. Yeah. Me, yeah. That's like meta gaming. Instead of playing your character, you're, you're building the best, best thing that has the most effective dice rolls. Right. Instead of just playing what's fun. Sparky Commission said I entered my avatar of Kane. Oh, nice. Managed to get third best army at the championship and second in Long War for best appearance. Awesome. So next That's goal, great. next year goal is to win one of those and get a finalist pin. That avatar model is just gorgeous. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah. Definitely one of the definitely one of the top sculpts that GW's put out in this. Yeah, because it came out, what, three years ago? I think so. I think it was a 2020, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was, 20, yeah. It was 2020. I remember seeing it at 2021, like every other model was an avatar of Kane. Yeah. Uh, for the submissions. Gabe said, no, that's power gaming. Power gaming. I feel like that's the same thing. Darky commissions love the monument paints on my commission work through the airbrush. So fast and so good. Yeah, Thank airbrush you. is great. I'm just yeah. a masochist, apparently. Very happy to hear that. Kane hit 2022. 2022, okay. 2022, wow. Yeah, that was way off. Yeah. Time has so no it was meeting. last year, I would have Time has no the... meeting anymore. It doesn't. Maybe last year is when I saw all the avatars. I remember one year I just went and it was like every other model in the, the lar- like large or single model category was yep. Avatar of Kane. Like this year it was uh, Angron. There was like 10 different Angrons. Which is a great model. And I'd love to paint one someday. I didn't see as many... I think I only saw like one Horus in the Horse Heresy section. Interesting. Which was surprising because that model's great and it came out last year. So my, my expectation was like, oh, there's going to be like 10,000 of these things. Right. Right? Everything, yeah, post COVID is just a weird time warp. It is, yeah. The last four years have just been yeah. simultaneously in infinity and yeah. 10 minutes. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird. Time warp is correct. I can't believe it's already almost April. Oh my god, it's already almost April. Ben, you're right. It's already almost April. Monday. April 1st? Monday's the 1st. You better bring a whoopee cushion. <laughs> huh? I'm going to bring a whoopee cushion to work. Oh. <laughs> it's April Fools. Easter this weekend. Is also Easter this weekend. Which is weird that there's a show Jason and Jordan are at. That's true, they are. Hey, 
It ends on Sunday, though, doesn't it? Oh, I guess it ends, like, at the end of Sunday. It ends on Sunday, but... Yeah. Yeah, it's just... Interesting. Strange. I don't know. I love hearing Shannon in the background. <laughs> I can hear her from here. Shannon, I hear you. <laughs> we don't celebrate Easter. All right. I knew this was going to be this way, so it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, no. I mean, this is... I knew it was going to... It's, it's, it's an orange over black. It's going to be see-through. I'm just going to work up to it. So I'm adding... Adding orange brown now. Another new. Well, I gotta get used to this camera. There it is. I'm adding orange brown now to my orange oxide. I'm gonna start building up the yellow a little bit more. We'll just kind of keep going up. Which one is orange oxide? Or orange, orange oxide's from Adepticon. Orange brown is orange brown. Uh, from Flame on Miniatures. Flame. Those are new colors. You guys don't have those. Well, some of you might have them. Yeah. If you were at Adepticon. Quad tomato, Chuck and Jade. I know have them. Yeah, you guys all have them. Quad tomato got them for. That's true, yeah. He was, he was a good friend. Game Delay said meta as a prefix talks about an awareness outside of the thing itself. Okay. So the game on the table would be the game, but choosing your army based on awareness of broader statistics would be a meta game. Gotcha. There we go. But then Gabe said, so the word meta means cleverly self-referential, which is why we have meta gaming for games like D&D. A build that is meta is actually an acronym meaning most effective tactic available. Yes, which is what... You said. Both, yeah. Got it. So I wasn't wrong, so haha. We have all the paint that are available. I have them all. Yes, there are people who have all of them. That's right. Some of them, some people have <laughs> them. They're here to taunt the rest of us. I mean, I have them, but. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that does that count? <laughs> no, it does not count. <laughs> I don't count. I'm like scenario. out of frame. I'm just going like, to I'm just painting over here by myself. <laughs> In my own little world. Sorry, I should have, yeah. No, no, you're good. I, I'm, I don't I'm think you knew I started again. I don't know how Jason manages to be on camera he just dies as so often much, as, he, as he is. Oh, Wad well, Tomato said, but I still have no wizard's blood. So you don't have all of them. Two different meanings, but same word used mostly for games, so it makes it confusing. That's... Yeah, a little, little confusing. That's okay. Darky said of the three new sets, Rogue Hobbies is so good. I love it. For Rogue is, yeah, I like Rogue Hobbies a lot. Super saturated stuff. Forgot to ask Shelby if people noticed her nails. Oh, they noticed. Did they? Oh yeah, <laughs> she did show a lot of people, but people <laughs> people nails. also people also noticed. She had like each of her nails was one of the different colors. One uh, side she had uh, had Jordan do non-metallic metal on it. Non-metallic metal oh, on wow. her thumbs. <laughs> so each yeah the thumbs around and then all of her other fingers were like each of the rogue hobbies colors. Yeah. So good. Yeah. So we're just building. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the Flame On set is great for gold non-metallic metal, but they're also fantastic colors just on their own, as you can see. Yeah, I mean, I, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm using, yeah. the, I'm using the orange brown from his to build up my yellow. It'll be a good darker color in the shadows. And then over that orange oxide, it just goes on very nice, warm. Very... Phil Corvus got a wizard butt sticker today. Nice. Doc Seibel eagerly awaiting the arrival of my Pro Acryl base set. Base set? Is this your first venture into Pro Acryl? I don't have the bell with me right now. I'm sorry. Not everyone starts with it. It seems like a logical place to start, but not everyone starts with the base you, Yeah, you'd no, be surprised. A lot of people start with the signature colors. I yeah, found. yeah, because yeah. they know the artist. They know the so, artist, so yeah. they buy the signature colors. Exactly. They're like, oh yeah, support that person, and then they're like, oh wait, these are good. Oh wait, <laughs> these are actually really good. These are actually really more. good. <laughs> we do get very excited around here when, um, when we know that people are trying pro curl for the first time. At Adepticon, we ring a bell. We just know what you're in for. Actually, at all the conventions. When we're at a convention and someone buys it for the first time, or is like, 
using our colors for the first time will ring a big bell that we have behind the. That's fun. That's right. Did you guys ring the bell? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All I the forgot time. About that thing was that. probably going off nonstop. Uh, no. No. I mean, it was go. It went off a lot, but not as much as you think. It was like a lot of people were there because they knew who we were. They already, yeah. already. And they already, in. they were already in it. They were committed. So that was really nice. That's great. We had. I want to say it was someone in chat yesterday saying that they waited in line for yeah. stuff that they knew they needed and didn't realize that we had new stuff. Had new colors. Didn't get it. <laughs> and we're like regretting it later. Yeah. It's all right. It comes out live April 25th. Yep. Yeah. It's all coming out soon. I sent out the emails yesterday. Well, I say I. Gabe sent out the emails yesterday. I helped, a, I helped Kyle draft the email. We sent the email out yesterday to all our retailers so they can start placing their orders. Mm -hmm. So if you have a store that carries our products... Feel free to put a bug in their ear and they can place their orders now so they can have it by street date. Oh, Jaden said that she and Shelby talked to nails. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they did. Oh, so B Paints, friend got me the base set about a month ago. It's all I have been painting with since then. Awesome. That's awesome. Negative. I won. I think I won the base set in a raffle years ago when I first started painting, and then have continued buying the rest of it. That's Thank awesome. Thank you. Firework said, "When I go to Gen Con, can I pretend it's my first time so I can have the bell rung?" <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> the bell is subjective. We don't have any hard fast There's rules, no for, the rules for the bell. If you Other ask for the bell, I can guarantee gonna, they're not allowed to overring the bell. Yes, we can't. We can't have the convention hate us. We don't want to be hated for the bell. But you can always ask. I say that because most of the time it's Shelby on the register, so she she would love to ring it for you guys. I'm sure if she could, she'd ring every order. Corvus Lorax said your metallic set was my gateway drug to become a pro pro convert. We get that a lot That's too. That's awesome. We get that a ton. People from Fort Wapple will come over and say, "I used your metallics and they're amazing." I'm like, yeah, duh. Are we just saying favorite colors? Did I miss that? Are we saying favorite colors? I don't know. Everybody tell well, us your I'm favorite. I'm starting color. to see. <laughs> Dark Sea Ben. Like Jade, Jade said, Dark Sea Ben, and then Ghost Hunter said, Advanced Flesh Tone, Panic Bomb, Bone, Red, Gray. Mm. Are you trying to name the signature colors? Oh, it was Shyvenger that that was there for other stuff and didn't realize. Doc, you've got the transparents and metallics. Try them together. Try them together. Some cool yep. stuff. It's a fun. It's a fun little bit of alchemy mixing the transparents with the various metallics. It is. There's an alarm going off. Thought I muted my phone. I guess I didn't. Uh, negative charisma heroes and villains in Tucson. Do you know offhand? Yeah, we have heroes, heroes and villains. Yep, they're with us. Are they, do you know any others in Tucson? In Tucson, off the top of my head, no. Not, yeah, no. FLGS I know them for sure. Because we were excited. They were the first store in Tucson. They might a, be the only ones. They might be the only one. Yeah. We have, I think there's one other. I think. Um, and you can always check out our store locator. Yeah. On our website. I don't know if Jen's already put that in there or not. Um, usually, no. she, usually you're good at beating us to it. But yeah, on our website, you can always go to the store locator and just look up. Um, I'm painting on a frame again. I'm so sorry, everybody. Mm -hmm. Sorry, and I'm no, no, no. I you're just good. I'm just, like watch your dad. I'm just when I paint at home, I paint like this. Yeah. 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 So like painting down here is like I slowly am just creeping yeah. away from the table. You go back to like yeah. muscle memory. Yep. Yeah. Especially when I'm talking. Oh my goodness. Uh, are we here. Yeah. So. But yeah, negative charisma. If you have a store that you frequent often. Um, and they're not carrying the line, have them send us an email. Yeah. yeah. That email comes to me, and I will happily tell stores to carry our stuff. Punchboard Champion, I got my base set and expansion one last Friday. My first experience with the paint. Already have Pro Sable brush set, though. Awesome. Nice. Make some more. Yeah, so the PK Pro hasn't even been able to order them from us yet, so... I think we. Relax. I saw an email from them this morning. They did. Yes, they're they're ready to put they're in their ready, order. But we just made it available. But we to everybody. just are just starting that, so you're not gonna get them yet. Soon. <laughs> Nerd gun painting said, "My name isn't actually Nerd gun painting, so you'll never know if it's my first time." Oh, <laughs> that's true. 
They're already hated for the line. They can't be hated for the bell too. Uh, yeah, there, there were some. Not our fault that the line is long. No, most most you'd be surprised. I mean, I guess of... technically it is our fault because people like what? our stuff. We make good stuff, maybe. We make we make very good stuff. <laughs> the best stuff, even. Ghostu said I had never used the monument line before, but the painting dad recommended it to me, and I went on his word and bought the entire range. Oh wow! Was that wow. a while ago? That's a full commitment, Ghostu, because you've been here for a long time. <laughs> do you know how many colors you have trying to decide how many i might not have um with the new ones I so forget. there are 75 in the main line 75 on the main line then we've got currently four signature sets which is another 24 mm -hmm. well, it's about to be six well it's about to be six but currently currently because Slavic, you'll, there are going to be 18 that you don't have pretty soon, but those aren't available just yet. Um, so 75 plus 24 plus six fluorescents. And I think that's everything right now. Three washes. Washes, too. So add those numbers together. I'm not going to do that in my head. 75 plus three <laughs> plus six times five. <laughs> much <laughs> that's the math someone else figured out I was gonna say chat, chat fill in the blanks yeah 75 and 24 is 99 yeah because we were at 102 so 108 108 with fluorescence yeah mm, 108 i'm trusting uh, you I'm but not... slavic on our website if you go into the paint tab, like don't just click on it, click to expand it. The very top thing is color brochure, has a list of everything. So just use that to check off what you don't have. Uh, Mazelcast, we don't do pre-orders. Um, we just plan to make a whole bunch of paint and hope people buy it. No, but we don't um we don't do pre-orders. We don't want to take money from people unless we have something to give you in return right away. Um so there'll be we decided today that we're going to say we decided it, right? That we're going to say April 25th. Yes. So uh, that is April 25th. That is the knowledge I know. Is when you will should be able to buy them when you should be it's like Pretty certain, but I'm all still going to say you should be able to buy them all. Around so. that time. Let's just say that. Yeah. Around April 25th. If you purchase from a local game store, they are starting to prepare their orders now. So yeah. they may have it on or even before that date. Yeah. I'm not going to tell the store they have to wait till the 25th. No. They get it early enough. Dark Hunter Heroes and Villains were, used to be your local store, and they are great. Awesome. They are. They're good people. Yeah, they seem really good. I think I, think I saw Did I see them at Adepticon? I feel like I saw them at Adepticon. If not, it was at LVO. Philip, you're off screen. Oh, I'm off screen again. <laughs> Yay! Hi, everyone. I'm back. <laughs> Keep asking another store to carry a racks, but they had a bad experience asking for a rack years ago, Ghost oh. Hunter. Well... That was years ago. Years ago. It was just Jen and Jason. It was just me and Jason. <laughs> so we were spread very thin. Yes. I know we're seeing a lot of inquiries right now. Hopefully it's... they'll give us another chance if you keep asking them nicely. Get your friends to ask as well. Then it's not just one person. Exactly. The more people that ask, they'll get the, the bad experience for them will turn into too many people asking for it. And they'll yeah. just say, fine, we'll get it for you. Fine. Okay. Leave alone. Corvus said, now I'm 78 paints deep and still going. Only thing that could possibly stop me is if we begin using lame, lame made up names for our colors. <laughs> <laughs> We're, I, I'm, I'm pretty confident that that's not going to happen. Yeah. Dark Sea Ben is about as lame as, well, I won't say lame. <laughs> yeah, Ben, you're lame. <laughs> it's about as gen. made up as we're going to get. It's about as off brand as we're going to Off yeah. brand. There's the safe word. <laughs> off brand. <laughs> Good save, Jim. <laughs> that color is dumb. 
No, I'm kidding. It's a great color. No, it's the greatest color. Uh, yeah, I use that's it the thing. That's I a... think that's why Jason was so willing to cave a little to on the cave name. a little bit for sure. it because the color yeah. is so good. It's such I a. Know, I'm, I'm a big. I'm a big. Where's my Where's my camera here? I'm a big red beige fan. Oh yeah, beige red. Cool. Oh, dude, yeah. it's so good. Yeah, beige red. Is that Ninja or Vince? That's Vince. That's Vince. That's Vince. Yeah. yeah. That's... Is it? Yep. I think yeah, that's it is. Yeah, yeah. Vincey V. Great Vincey color. Vincey V. Testing out fluorescent purple right now. Ooh. Ooh. Which is great. Ooh. Great glazing on. Uh, Are you doing? Is that what's on the top of the shoulder right now? Yeah. Oh, that was really pretty. Yep, to really help um, pop it a little bit. Love a good pop. That's yeah, pretty. Chuck the Mead Man. Hello. Hi, Chuck. Welcome. I'm off screen again. Uh, will it be faster to find the new paint sets at a physical store in April, or will it be faster to order online? It just depends. It depends. The the stores, the way I'm doing it right now, mm -hmm. um, they they are submitting their pre-orders, and then starting Monday, uh, we will start manually inputting those orders for them and start processing them as we have production has to ramp up and get everything going. Yeah, so right. once once that's all moving, as we are able to fulfill the store orders, we will fulfill them. Uh, and send them uh, so they may you know depending on what or basically i'm going in hey if you whoever ordered first gets their stuff yeah. first yeah that's barring if they wanted like five thousand and everything. i should right. i should clarify just a tiny bit because i spent all this time just saying we don't do pre-orders we do <laughs> for stores it's different yes we um, do. so we want to make sure you guys are yeah. able to go into a local store on street date and if they've ordered yep. it and have they'll and have some it. for you so mm -hmm. i would ask them about it um so they can always bug me and with the um, like fluorescence, for example, that came out, like we released them on our website on Black yeah. Friday, but some stores had them before that. Yeah. And they were, they, once they have it, it's theirs. They can sell it. Yep. So, um, yeah. So you might see it if you have a, a store that you shop at locally that carries, um, carries the line, just ask them. I won't say no to taking their money. Abel Hernandez, lucky for me, my LGS carries Pro Acryl. That is always a good thing, isn't it? Usually buy paints from them, but other order stuff that they might not carry, like brushes, etc. Um, you know, keep in mind too that they can, they have access to. They all can of order it. those things for you if, if you, they want to. Again, it kind of depends on you know how how well you know the people at the store, but they if you could ask them to special order stuff for you. Yeah, you can. I know that there have been. People who have um, been able to get the Evo bag ordered from their local store, yeah. even though the store didn't really carry it, they asked and have been able to do that. So that can be worth doing, especially for large items um, if you're outside of the Shipping U.S. Shipping on those Evo bags is yeah. not a joke, especially if you're in Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they they charge you out the wazoo for those bags yes. when they get across the, the border. Yes, Canada. Oh, yeah, the duties on them are wild. Yeah. Canada does not like when people buy the go bag from us. <laughs> it charges not. them all kinds of fees and taxes and things like that. So if you are in Canada and you've got your eye on one of the bags, check one of the Canada stores. Oh, wait. Um, my chat is really scrolled up, Jen. <laughs> Game Delay know. said 12. They sell 12 paints and that's all, so I don't need to buy any more than that. <laughs> any more than that equals a lot, 108. Is the chat scrolled up really far for? No, I'm just. Oh no, you're it. just going through them. Okay. Yeah, I'm scrolling through. No, them. you're sure good. Missing I missed a bunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all right. I was just like, am I? They sell five paints. We have at least five paints. You're right. We have at least, we have five. At least five, maybe more. All right, I'm gonna move into just orange brown now. <laughs> Not mixed with orange was, oxide was anymore. Muted. Missed what we're counting, but one fourteen is my guess. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Also, be might be fun, Phil. Up. Once you work your way up to some of the brighter yellows, yeah, um, you can always do like for your tippy top highlights, you can do something like pale yellow or even like just titanium white, and then do a transparent yellow glaze over. I was kind of thinking thing. pale yellow and then glazing something over, yeah. whether it be like whether I glaze back the warm yellow back over the top because I think yeah. I'm gonna working my way up to warm yellow. That's currently the the idea. Because the the transparent yellow will like. 
it'll 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 bump up a lot of that uh, kind of the, the 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 browns that you've got going on yeah oh yeah underneath everything yeah yeah tie the, it all together the plan was to get there nice right now I'm just building it up so when i get to those really bright yellows it's not translucent right that is that is currently the goal looking pretty sharp that crisp blast of music over there Schmidt moved all signature sets and floors to their own paint form. Paint foam. It's paint completely foam. Full. I mean, the stores have a separate rack for those, so they that's do, a yeah. good strategy. Yeah, Osobi doesn't it look good? The purple on the shoulder looks really good. Oh, thank you. The color brochure and colors by Hugh will be updated when the paints are, the new Live. colors are available. It's current with everything except those. Patrick Reading, or Redding, first time catching the stream live. Sorry, hey, using your paints welcome. in February and love them. Awesome. Welcome. Welcome to the family. Cuthbert, just a quick question. Where am I going to put all the new paint? Because I need all this stuff. Um... Go bag. I think yeah, go bag. Go, go bag. Plus Neo. Neo. Should be good. Should be solid. Should have you covered. <laughs> and then when you're not painting, you just zip them up and put them away. Around April twenty or April April twenty fifth is around my birthday, so don't play with my emotions. I am not ghost hunter. You're not. We are serious. I. We do not joke here about anything, ever. If if. if you know that I have been very reluctant to say a date, but I said a date today. We said a date. So I feel pretty confident. I think I said the date first, Jen, so I think you're off. we are not playing with your emotions. You're off the hook. Don't stay up too late on the 24th trying to get him. No. Uh, because it's usually <laughs> when we get into the office yeah, that day <laughs> it's usually like when we roll in to push the buttons <laughs> with the go bag the new bags it was during stream that's true it was it wasn't until like, so <laughs> like 3 it was like 3 p.m our time Gabe, push the button <laughs> push the button game overlord excited for the rogue hobby set they look great they're fantastic wait till you see them in person Oh, in person, they're great. They're even better. 108 deep and apparently still going as of April 25th, said Source. Oh, yeah, we're still going. We still, that's, these are all signature colors, too. Well, yeah. Adepticon set's not technically a signature line. It, um, it, it kind of is. Kind of is, but not, we're not, but it's not marketed not, as one. Yeah. I don't think it says signature. It doesn't say signature on it. That's what I'm saying. It's techni it's, it's a set of six paints, but it is not one of the signature yeah. series lines. Um, but then we still have two, probably two more sets in the main line that we need to do. Yeah, we definitely have Expansion 5 coming, I know that. Yeah, Expansion 5 for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got, we got all kinds of fun stuff for y'all. Very, very exciting times. It is very exciting times. I'm excited. Ghost Hunter said, dang, Matt is such a good painter, isn't he? Oh, thank you. Matt is a very good painter. Good I painter. have my days. Oh my gosh, that purple is looking so good. It's it's sharp. Yeah. Yep. I, I love it. That that fluorescence making it really yep. work for me. I like um a more pinky or ready like a red or purple mm -hmm. than a blue. And that's that's that's, that's, that's getting it for you. And just... John's Dark Magenta is my holy grail for good burgundy and pinks on cloth. Yeah, Dark Magenta is gorgeous. I think I painted some Stormcast with the Dark Magenta. Ooh, Bakamara, that sounds like a, quite a trek to get to an FLGS. Is that just in general? Like that that's the closest store to you? Or that's the closest store that carries Procrawl? 
Sorry, I'm really behind on chat. <laughs> I'm trying to, That's all right. I'm trying to catch up. We'll get there. Yeah, uh, Sparky, we're not including the new, um, the three new signature paints or the sets yet. Um, in the count, we're just looking at what's currently available on the website. Uh, negative charisma, yes, the color brochure will be updated. Um, the one on the website will be updated once the new colors are released. Scientologists, the lights, we don't really put links because they change. We just get them on Amazon and there's so many different varieties and they change all the time. So yeah. we just use folding LED lamps that are um, mm -hmm. with plugs. We don't use the battery ones. Um, and the base comes off of them so that the, the arms just kind of fold and you can put it in the back. I mean, you could put the whole thing in the back. So. Kosu had some fun with pale yellow chipping over some yellow armor earlier. Nice. Going over nice. and glazing certain bits to make them darker or lighter. That sounds cool. Very cool. Hobbybot said, well, dang, I'm going to be 45 paints short when the new ones are released. I'm going to have to change this. <laughs> you better get on it. Thanks for the great paints. Well, thank you for the support. We're here to help you change this when, whenever you're ready. Sparky, we used to have a line of MDF racks. Um, they were heavy and kind of bulky. Um, we had a really tough time finding a good supplier for them. Mm. So we've discontinued them for now. Um, there are so many great options on like Etsy. Yeah. Um, yeah, probably even Amazon. So even though we don't make them, uh, there are other companies, other small businesses that do. Game delay, it's your birthday tomorrow? Tomorrow? We don't have any wizards, but at the moment. Don't. <laughs> Baka said, get out of here. I didn't get a wizard's butt for my birthday last week. Game really <laughs> makes the fair point of, did you ask? <laughs> True, did you ask? The answer's always no if you don't ask. <laughs> General Ginko said, the missus is going to order me the new sets for my birthday in early May. Then the only color I'll be missing is wizard's butt. You know what, General Ginko? General Ginko bought the bold sense of humor. Oh, okay. So, oh, okay. I've seen your. I've when seen the we skull. send you the bold sense of humor, we will make sure you get a bottle of wizards. But I am saying that right now. <gasps> Jen has confirmed it. <laughs> so all you gotta Can do. You guys help me remember that. <laughs> put it on the whiteboard. Put it on the whiteboard. Jen has spoken, so it shall be. <laughs> it shall be. The neo bag was the perfect kit to bring for possible repairs for Golden Demon. Yeah, it's a good little compact. It is. It's nice. Travel case. It's definitely the travel bag. Yeah. Yeah. Chuck, you gotta get a Neo. You have to. Gotta get a Neo for the overflow. Adepticon paints are numbered like the signature set. Yep. Another shout out on that purple. Looking gorgeous. It does look amazing. Uh, Slavic said, Matt, I'm interested in that Stormcast scheme. Do you have it posted somewhere? Um, I, I don't, but I can probably throw it up in the chat sometime tonight or tomorrow. Um, and uh, it's, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, basically, I did a Zenithal highlight of white over, um, over a dark, dark gray. Um, don't use black. You don't want to use black because it'll completely 
completely suck the color out of the um out of the the dark magenta um but i did uh dark neutral gray as a base and then a xenothal highlight with the white um you can be really heavy handed with that and then i airbrushed the dark magenta over all of that um, and because it's so nice and transparent it just made this beautiful um really vibrant magenta um which over the gray had some nice purple hues to it uh in the shadows and then over our titanium white is just it, it pops yeah. so much it's so strong and then i just went back in and cleaned it up by mixing titanium white with the dark magenta um to create those various intermediate hues um and painted uh details with that um maybe used a little bit of um a little bit of transparent purple for some glazing into the shadows but um i didn't uh is really pretty straightforward so i can i can see if i can find the pictures on my phone and put them in the chat again did you is, did you post pictures of it on discord is i'm that how i it? might have as okay. like a work in progress okay. um a long time ago <laughs> if you can if you can search it um it, it might not have been in our discord though i might be remembering oh, okay. another discord yeah i'm in so many hobby discords yeah <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so Are paints. All? what is the process for developing a signature series with an artist? Um, so it. basically, got it. Jason does all of our product development. He's not here today, but he, um, he works with the artist. They have a lot of conversations. They talk about how the artist has used our line, um, what colors they feel like they're having to either pull from another brand or to mix to create. Um, and then they kind of come up together with just a, a group of six colors. And then Jason will mix the pigment and test and try and match it. Well, um, with um, the last round, I know that they, they kind of created some dry sample colors. So they would mix colors and put it on a paper and send it to him. Um, and then he takes that and matches it. And it's actually a really cool process to, to see cool. him do that. Um, yeah. And then... Mm. They just continue to develop it, refine it, until they have it the way the artist wants and the way it matches with the line and put it in models and put labels on it and sell it to you guys. That simple. Yeah. Easy. It's starting to turn more yellow. I'll have to fix a bunch of stuff later. Looks good. I can see it. Chuck is making fun of Jade for how she arranged her go bag. Yeah. How did you arrange your go, yeah, your go bag, you, Jade? How did you do it? I need we to were, know. I think we were talking about it, and we said you start with number one at the bottom right, and then you work your way up. <laughs> bottom right? That's how Jordan did it. <laughs> yeah. That's... Well, you didn't really. Yeah. I mean, because we, we, we discovered that if you turn it around, then it's it makes sense. one through whatever from top to bottom. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's I... so funny. I I I like to organize my go bag just by by color. I I went and got our flip tops and put a little color swatch on top. Yeah. And it it looks nice and pretty. It does. All organized in my go bag. Yeah. And but it makes it just it's it's so nice to just be able to go. Okay, that's the color I need. Yeah. You know, so and you then put, you like don't all get... your browns together like by hue. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I've just got it organized by hue mm -hmm. for the most part. I gotta I gotta reorganize it a little bit, but. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's fun that way, and then you don't get thrown off. Sometimes I find myself like, "Oh, I can't use that color. It's a flesh color, mm -hmm. you know. I don't want it." But it's just all it is is it's just, just a, a color, yellow, an orange, it's just a color. you know. Yeah. Um, yep. Jade has hers organized by hue. She said, "If you look up the game Hues and Clues, I went off the board game." Hues and Clues. Hues and Clues. <laughs> just because General Ginko does something really cool, like stunningly cool, he gets special treatment. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, I think that's how that works. Sparky, you found some good 3D prints for a pegboard. Yeah, I've seen that a lot, which is, I think, looks really cool. I'm up in my face again. Sorry, guys. I keep picking my <laughs> model up to like do a detail because I, I, I paint up here normally. I keep doing that and forgetting I need, you guys need to probably see what I'm doing. You may, you may want to. 
That's just here to look at my pretty face. <laughs> Which I understand. I get that a lot. Teeny tiny victories. Uh, uh, I'm sorry that I'm just now seeing you ask, is that dark purple? Um, it hasn't been that long, so I'm I'm gonna say no. I think it was the trans uh, the fluorescent on the shoulder that you were working oh. on. Oh, Matt, that was fluorescent purple, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For I just really... don't know when the question came. Well, I mean, it, ah. it was fifteen oh seven, which was like five minutes ago. Okay, but I think that was probably still. I think you were painting the fluorescent about five minutes. Yeah, it's it's all um a dark purple base worked up to uh. I used plum and then a high did a mix of plum and titanium white for a highlight um, and then glazed the fluorescent purple overall of that. Zero paint tasting involved in the process. <laughs> <laughs> Only time we would taste the paint is to make sure that it tastes bad so you guys don't eat it. <laughs> it's like reverse taste testing. And it's, we, we let the zombies do it. Yeah, exactly. We keep them in the cage for, for a reason. Human consumption. Ghost Hunter. I was like, are you talking about the Golden Girls? <laughs> the Golden Girls? <laughs> yeah, because uh, I have to go back now, but it was something about having a hot date with Sophia from Sicily. Lost it. It's in there somewhere. It's in there somewhere. Oh, here it is, yeah. If I didn't have a hot date with Sophia from Sicily, I would ask my friends to play Hughes and Clues. The box is pretty. With a name like Hughes and Clues, you gotta have a pretty box. Yeah. You have the word Hughes in your in your box and not be pretty. It's a completely platonic relationship based completely on power and golden girls references. Power <laughs> so and awesome. golden girls. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of game. <laughs> uh, if they did a board game on MASH, I'd be set. Yeah, the the option, I know that there are, there are some people who ask about, uh, why can't we pick our top, the caps at checkout? Um, and it's because we make hundreds of bottles of paint at, at a time. And they have hundreds. to be capped at that time. Yeah. So we don't know. Yeah, it's very hard to customize. Yeah. All right, happy to report that I am caught up in chat now. We're caught up? But caught no, up. We can't see. Okay, now we can see. Now I can waka, see waka, waka, waka. Now we can't see you. Silly. Oh, you're talking to me. <laughs> I'm talking to you. I'm in my own well, little world over here. I started to say it, and then you turned it, and we could see it, and then you moved it. <laughs> yeah, it's getting there. i got to let it dry for a little bit. I went a little too... I was trying to glaze a little on the head so it wasn't as bright, and then I just overwatered it. So we're gonna hang out for a sec, let that dry. Paint liquor, they are the far superior cap, for sure. Oh, that way. That way. Oh, that's the wrong way. I'm about to zoom in, I guess. It's getting there. It looks yellow now, at least. Colors yeah. looks good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to look at it. I got to have to remember, like, I have a tendency when I'm painting to forget to look at it from mm -hmm. how to look on the table. Yep. I'm yeah. just, like, up in my face, and I'm looking underneath it, so I'm like, well, I didn't paint there, and I didn't paint there. I'm like, I don't need to do that. I just need to stop for a second. And there's lots of bits on here that aren't going to be yellow, so I'm just kind of leaving them sloppy. I'll go back with metallics later and fill those in, and, like, the little, I don't even know what the little things in between their armor are, but I'm just going to paint those black. Oh, like the little, uh... Like the undersuit? Like undersuit, the little, yeah. Yeah, the little ridged things. I'll just paint those black. Yeah, three times the skews, and honestly, there aren't that many people who buy the alternate cap. The what? But there aren't really that many people who buy the alternate cap. That caps. too, yeah. Yeah. You know, when there you are, there's picture, the dedicated right? users. Yeah. But once they have what they need, they don't, you know... Yeah. They have them. Yeah. So, you know, we see an uptick in them whenever we have new colors. <laughs> because everyone that has them is... Yeah. But it's still... When you consider the amount of paint we sell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's dropping. Very, the very small percentage. So, not practical for us. Yeah. 
Some of the best painting advice I've ever had was to take your model somewhere else and look at it under different lights. Yeah. That's a good tip. That's a good tip. I can't really do that here because I'd leave. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh. When I'm done here, I'm probably going to go work on it some more tonight because I'm not going to, obviously, I'm clearly not going to finish it here today. Um, but I'll probably go home and paint and work on it some more. Maybe I'll post in a work in progress later tonight. Do you paint at home often? Uh, yeah, I try to. Yeah. I, uh, I've been having my bag at work lately. Mm -hmm. so I've just been painting at lunch and not taking it home. Yeah. But I just finished... I'm in the middle of moving my, like, redoing my whole hobby area. Oh, nice. So, I'm moving a bunch of stuff. Yeah. And I have a new table that I built. So nice. I built it, like, three months ago, and I'm just now getting into a place where I can actually fit it in the hobby area where I want it. So. And then going to shows is always reinvigorating as a hobbyist. You go and you see, you know, all the Golden yeah. Demon stuff, and you're just yeah. like, oh, man. I need, to, I need to work on my painting some more. So, you know, here I am. Working on my painting some more. <laughs> Matt, do you paint at home? Matt brings his go bag here and paints a lot. Yeah, I I, I do most of my painting here. Um, sometimes I'm able to squeeze in some painting at home on the weekends mm -hmm. when, when we have a block of time. But most of the time, once I'm home, um, at the end of the day, it's it's dealing with kids, kids and, family, <laughs> and stuff. family stuff. Yeah. And uh, Do the kids have any interest in games or painting or anything? Um. It's sort of. Yeah. Um, our our youngest uh, is happy to just run around and use his imagination. Yeah. And then our our oldest, um, I think he's he's curious. Um, we might be able to get him into board games a little bit. Uh -huh. Um, but he's he's just a hardcore video game kid. Yeah. 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 This is it, it's it's like Fortnite twenty four seven with him. Um. So it's uh maybe as he gets older because mm -hmm. when i've been at home working he's shown passing interest where he'll come up behind me and be like oh what are you working on yeah. that's really cool that looks neat and yeah. we picked up some like whiz kids miniatures for the uh -huh. kids to to paint and play around with yeah. and he um he actually took his time and even though he's not necessarily the creative and artistic one he took his time and kind of tried to paint within the lines to the best best that he could uh -huh. so i think think if i play my cards there's right, hope yeah. there's hope yeah. <laughs> he uh he, he he might we might have a painter in him in the future that's yeah. awesome yeah very cool <laughs> sparky thanks for hanging out yeah we'd love to see you again um, yeah, come by anytime we have a program called monumentals you can send us a message to support at monumenthobbies.com, or you can actually even just go on our website, click the Monumentals tab. There's a button that says more information or something like that. And uh, Jordan works with all of those mm. creators. So, um, yeah, check it out. I would love to see it. Mega Hamster, hello. I'm sure this has been asked, but where do I see the new colors? Do you guys have them over there? Or did they take them? Uh, new colors? I have mine. You have yours? Yeah, I mean, I'm using... I'm using uh, well, they, yeah, they've been using them. I've got I'm using orange, orange, orange brown, and yellow ochre right now, or what I have. I just haven't cracked open the Here we the go. Ask and you shall receive. Yeah. Right there we go. Well, yellow ochre's not new. But. Yellow ochre's not new, but that's what, I'm, that's what I'm currently doing right now. I forgot to tell people. I was using orange brown before. I started with red oxide. I'm sorry, orange oxide, orange not oxide. red oxide. Yeah. Orange oxide. Worked my way up into orange oxide and orange brown. He was using fluorescent purple, but now he's going into... Yeah. What are you grabbing now, man? I don't know. Oh, well, I just wanted to pull the colors out, because yeah. I actually hadn't cracked open my box yet. Ooh. This is the... Matt's showing off here the Rogue Hobby Yeah, so this set. is the Rogue Hobby set. Louise picked these colors. I love them. And I can probably... Jen likes bright colors. What? I know. Right. Huh? Since when, Jen? I do. I do love this color palette, and this yeah. ultramarine is is the ultramarine. The ultramarine. I am surprised how much I like that one. The bismuth yellow is really color. cool too. Bismuth yellow. Dark yeah, turquoise. Is, yeah, the Such dark a turquoise, bright ultramarine. The dark, dark it hot is. pink. Dark hot pink. Oh. Everyone was saying dark, dark not pink. Because <laughs> <laughs> from a distance, the H looks kind of like an M or an N. 
that was very fun to tell people like no it's dark, dark like, that's a funny name I'm like, it's not the name <laughs> you're right it is funny not what we called it and then orange red yep orange <laughs> red which was yeah, even when i first started i i was like man we're really missing like a cadmium red yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's and one this people is... have been asking for that one for a while yeah oops and then the adepticon has a, a red in it as well i really like this dark turquoise yeah that whole set is just... Are you going to use it tomorrow, Jen? Maybe. Should. I don't even know what I'm painting. I have my Deadpool and my... I think. I think I don't know. I guess I've got to plan that. These will be great for... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Those will be great for my Space Marines. Is Ultramarine? No, no. They're, oh. they're actually... They're white, but I use... Um... Oh, white scars? No, it's a custom chapter. Oh, okay. okay. But I, I do uh, like on their shoulder pads, basically the dark turquoise. Yeah. Um, so it's white, turquoise, gold, and then all their power swords are either like blue or yellow. But oh, nice. of course I go for really bright colors with them. So that bismuth yellow is going to be amazing on yeah. things like their power swords and their eye lenses. Um yeah. Yeah. So Yeah, that'll look really good. Nice. Maybe I'll maybe I'll bring well, my space oh, tomorrow. Oh, maybe. That's right. You get to paint again tomorrow. Well, you can paint every day. You get to paint on the stream. I will be off. I'm taking my rest day tomorrow. I'm going to try and go camping if I nice. can. We'll see. Very, I'm off screen again. Very, depe <laughs> very dependent on weather. <laughs> Watch tomatoes and MySpace Marines are all in white t-shirts and looking to one side. <laughs> Everybody's friends. <laughs> and they're all named Tom. <laughs> they are great additions to the range. Um, we also have um six colors that were developed in collaboration with the adepticon spray team and that's going to be the red oxide um that one has the magnesium which is metallic red oxide um, orange oxide drab brown satin black satin uh, black. bright shadow flesh and magnesium yeah yeah that bright shadow flesh is really nice too i was using that yesterday on some fleshier quartz stuff nice. i had a little bit of color for the dead red gray flesh <laughs> You guys were both making a MySpace joke. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can't have those here. Wow. MySpace died. Let it die. <laughs> wow, you guys are actually making me feel young with the MySpace jokes because I didn't get them. <laughs> I didn't get them at all. That was still just a hair before my time. How old are you, man? 35. I have MySpace. I'm younger than you. Yeah. No. Oh, I see what you mean. I, I just, I just, I didn't, I wasn't on social media like when I was in high school. I see what you mean. And yeah, I went yeah, straight yeah. to Facebook. Yeah. Like, I, I had friends who had MySpaces, uh -huh. but by the time I got into college and was, you know, using social media, because it was finally taking off, yeah. like, MySpace was basically was dead done. already. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it was gone. Yeah. Yeah, Facebook killed it pretty quick. And now Facebook's dying, so, yeah. you know. Finally. Such is the cycle of life. Good riddance, I say. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm not a fan. Uh, I don't know. I'm not, yeah. These kids and their social medias. <laughs> their tickety talks. Tickety talks. Tic tac toe. Gabriel said that's like me and Pokemon. I know Pokemon is exactly what I have loved if I were five years younger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> requesting a Napster Marine. Do you guys know what Napster? I know what Napster okay. is. Yep. I'm GeoCities old. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm a card catalog old, so. Do <laughs> you remember getting Sears catalogs in the mail still? That's a different kind of catalog. It just reminded me of it. Oh, okay. You said, you said it, and I was just like, that just reminds me. 
MySpace is best. Napster is not a crime. <laughs> Napster is not a crime. Power to the people. I could give you some Napster Marines, but it's going to take most of a week to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Am I going to get a virus when you finish sending them? <laughs> yeah, probably. Original Oregon Trail at school, old. <laughs> Man. original Oregon Trail. I think I played that. I think. I think. I'm pretty sure I did. It was at like a on a computer. I remember playing it on a computer at like the Children's Science Museum <laughs> where they had like a computer room with little Lego robots and things like that and you could use the keys on the computer to move the robots around but they also had Oregon Trail. Yeah. That's all there is. <laughs> Baka and Jade, you guys are my people. Typewriter? <laughs> I'm, I got taught cursive old. Yeah, Gabe's gave, gave response to Matt, at a museum? <laughs> yes, at a museum. Believe it or not, believe it or not, at a museum. I was trying not to say anything mean, but Gabe said it, so. It wasn't a display. Yeah, okay. It wasn't like, here's your ancient yeah. video game. No, no, this was not current. This was when I was like, Six. <laughs> this was in the nineties. It was a room full of current technology. Uh, that's hilarious. Three, three and a half Good catch game. Old. <laughs> Apple twos in the computer lab and typewriters in the other. Dot, ma dot matrix printer people. Yeah. <laughs> a fax machine. People still use fax, fax machines. Machine. I know that's. <laughs> I will Talk never, I will that. never, I was telling Jen this the other day, we, I used to work for IT and we yeah, did school stuff, schools. and they still have to have fax machines, and not. Gabe, I, you hush. Gabe. I don't need that for you. Gabe, we had iPad cards. Gabe. Yikes. Well, the in irony is that. elementary school. Yeah, in no, elementary, oh. In elementary school, we had iPad cards. Yeah, 2012 was wild, wasn't it, Gabe? <laughs> <laughs> when the machines take over, fax will be the only way we can communicate. Exactly. I had typing lessons growing up too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you had to rip the sides off, and then they were all perforated, and you had to take the. Yep. <laughs> Go Ghost, who said, I'm 29, and I feel old from that game. <laughs> yeah, that's. Kindergarten in 2017 was a wild time. Kindergarten in 2017. <laughs> that's hilarious. Did actual typing lessons at school, I think, because girls' school? When, but like, what time period are you like my age or are you young like these guys? Like us young bloods. I had typing lessons. Yeah, I, I, I learned I learned to type like when I was in the sixth grade. Well, but not on typewriters. No, not on, well, a, typewriter. not <laughs> not on, on a typewriter. Not on a typewriter. We had a typing class when I was in junior high. I did not take it. I did not take it. And I, I don't know how to type. Correctly, I know how to. T I type well. I type fast, but my fingers, I'm sure, are not in the right place. I think Shelby and I have talked about that. I learned how to type playing RuneScape. That's how I learned how to type. I, I was taught at school, but I learned how to type fast. Yeah, for going what? On, going playing RuneScape was the oh. game, <laughs> MMORPG from when I was a kid. I mean, it's still around, but it came out when I was a kid. And you had to like, they didn't have like a bank system or anything what's called like an exchange so you had to like go stand outside the bank and just type what you wanted to sell to people or what you were trying to buy and there's like hundreds of people there so you had to like keep spamming it because it would go away after a second you had to shout it into the universe yeah exactly so that's where that's where i learned how to type fast those lobster good <laughs> yeah certs aren't gonna sell themselves thank you <laughs> starcraft one yeah trashing oh, it yeah uh, talk it trash to adults thank you christopher <laughs> <laughs>
close up. Ooh, yeah. yes, I remember those, Jade. Job I had in my 20s. Dot matrix printer and the heavy sliding card reader that used pressure and carbon paper, like where you had to make an imprint of imprint the Imprint of card. the card so they yeah. could journal the bank and then later. People, and then you handed it to them and they had to sign it and you ripped off the piece and threw the, the carbon away. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Back when I had to balance your checkbooks. Yes, balancing checkbooks. Standing in line for concert tickets. Microfiche at the library. I even had to use microfiche in college on research paper. Scantrons, yeah, I remember Scantrons. All of our standardized testing is still in Scantrons, isn't it? Uh, I don't think anymore. Well, there's probably some. There's probably some. It's gotta be some. But they do some standardized testing on the computer. Saber, hello. Mm -hmm. Uh, Philip was the only one that was from in this room that was on the trip. I was on the trip. Matt, yes. Not. Everyone else stayed here. Fell down the fort. New yep. guy might be. You might be referring to Phil because in the title it says "New Guy Phil." My title. I'm not new. Technically, he's. I'm, technically, he's I'm not. Second, he will always like, be New Guy Phil. I'm always New Guy Phil. I am not <laughs> a new guy. But some nicknames never go away. Yeah. Including New Guy Phil. New Guy Phil. That's it. That's it forever. I am not new. Only. Is Ru Ruben's the only one? Older? Ruben's the only one more yeah. tenured than me. Yeah. yeah. It's Ruben and then me. He's he's been here a year <laughs> then, longer than me. And then eighteen newer people. Yeah, yeah. exactly. He'll yep. always be new guy Phil. Yeah, exactly. There's like yeah, twenty two people here now, and I'm still <laughs> I'm still new guy Phil. Always will be. Yeah. Don't take that away from me. <laughs> Chuck still has machines at work that take a five inch floppy drive. Wow, that's crazy. Chuck, where do you work? In the museum. <laughs> I don't know why I switched my two. I should have stayed on my four. New guy Phil is the best nickname. It is the best nickname. That's why I, that's why I say don't take it away from me. Because you can abbreviate it NGP. NGP. Be the notorious NGP. Notorious NGP. You're eight, Gabe? Yeah, Gabe's eight. That is wild. I know, it's wild. Yeah, because it's Ruben, me, Brennan. No, Jacob, then Brennan. Yeah. Carter. Carter. Oh, Carter, I think, was before Brennan and Jacob. Yes, I think you're it right. was me yes, and then cause Carter. Because Carter was here when we moved. And he Carter was here when we moved. Jacob started right before we moved. Carter yes. was already here. Mm. Brennan started like Brennan's first. Brennan started right after, but right, that's because yeah, right he, he came right after the other con. Yeah. And then after Brennan, who's after Brennan? Shelby. Hey. I think it's Shelby, <laughs> which is like a year later. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's Shelby. Yeah, that's Gabe just said Shelby. Yeah, Shelby, and then after Shelby... Um, then Jordan. Yep. And then Jordan. Then Gabe. Yeah. Gabe, were you before Matt? Gabe was before Matt. Yeah, he was Gabe like, was okay. He was like May, yep. June last okay. year, and then Matt was August. And then Matt, and then Maddie. Matt, then Maddie. And after James. that... Yeah, James. And then Keith. Keith, Tim. Maddie, yes, he's Tim. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Addy, And then him. Christopher. Oh, yeah, Christopher is last. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and Brennan's still, still here. Around. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, if you got any of our texture trainers, it's, that's he all him. He made it. Yep. He's Chris our, is the baby. He's our 3D printing wizard. He is. I don't know how he does it, man. Yeah, Brennan. I go to, whenever I have print issues with my printer at home, I always go to him. Yeah, Brennan's. Like, Brennan's the printing guy. There's a lot of really important stuff in production. He does paint production during the day. Yep. Model production. Model production in between somehow. Mm-hmm. Don't ask me how. Potentially brush production. Yeah, brush production. Yeah. He does so much. In... And at night, he fights crime. Yeah. Fights crime. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He does so much, and I never see him break a sweat. I know, right? Yep. Or he's always yep. just, he's always just going. He doesn't, he's always guy. he's he's just doing him. He yeah. gets it done. Gets it done. I feel like everyone here does though. 
What? Everyone here just gets it done. Yeah. Everyone, yeah. Everyone, everyone buckles down. We have a fantastic team. I say it all the time. We have a really, really good team. Um, they all understand why we're doing what we're doing for right. you guys. We all like doing what we're doing, too. That always helps. Crimson Owl Teach Mid is Brendan with a D. We had, yeah, they're very close. Very close. Yeah. There was a day, I don't know, two or three months ago when I called Brennan Brendan. I'm like, I don't know why I did that. I know who you are. <laughs> I swear. It just comes out sometimes. He probably gets it all the time. I'm sure he's so used to it. Yeah. My brother's name is Brendan, and he would always get so angry when people would call him Brandon. Brandon. Brandon, yeah. 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 He was like, it's Brandon. not Brandon. Brandon's a dumb name. Brandon is a dumb name. <laughs> that, was, that was his opinion, not yeah. mine. <laughs> sorry, Brandon's. Out sorry, there. Brandon's. <laughs> no All the Brandon's in chat. So sorry. Brandon is a perfectly good name. It's a perfectly cromulent name. Cro Did you say cromulent? Yep. Perfectly cromulent name. We got to move over just a little bit. Oh, yep. Yeah. Thank you. I'm just putting yellow ochre on now by itself. Baka said, My team at work has me, Brandon. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go, <laughs> Brandon. He's like, Listen here. <laughs> uh, has Brandon, has Baka, who's Brandon, then a Brennan, and then he just added a Brendan. Yep. Ooh. That's, that's, yeah. That's, that's, that's going to be confusing. One more than we did, but yeah, we had those. Oh, is Ben Ca Ben Cantor is a real person too? Schmidt said, "I told Ben Cantor, congrats on his signature set, but not for the life of me keep Cantor and comets straight." Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's another different painter. That is hilarious. Ben Ben Comets is one of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. Have it's... you met Matt? Huh? Have you met Matt? I've not met Matt, no. Matt is super nice. I've not met Matt. Like, just he... so nice. They both are. They both are. I've only met Ben, so my experience is with Ben. Yeah. One of the nicest people I've ever had, had, the, had the pleasure of interacting with. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? You, you've, uh, you've lost your Brandon. Bakamara, I was going to say I enjoyed that purple buildup, but now I now don't. Now I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Matt did yeah. emphasize that it was not his opinion that the name it was, was not, bad. It was, just, it was the opinion of my elementary right. school brother <laughs> 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I see you're Brandon and raise you the Brenton I work with. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Brenton. Please, please. Ben Comets was at Adepticon. He was in our booth for a bit, I know. Yeah, he came and hang out. He's good people. Is that one time I know, I only because I saw pictures, um, that four of the six signature artists were at Adepticon at our booth. They were. Yeah, Magic was there. Ben showed up. John was there, Vince John was there. Vince, yep. missing Louise and Matt. Mm. Again. <laughs> Roommates in uni of Brennan and Brevin. <laughs> I had to double check Brevin's name when I first heard it. Brevin? With Brevin. a V? Brevin. 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 That's wild. Yeah. Brennan That's and so Brevin. I mean, as a teacher. Oh, I'm sure I you had saw all kinds of unique names. Oh yeah, I can yeah. only imagine. Yeah, I did. But then, I mean, I, so Jennifer is was like the most common name. I just saw a video the other day that for 14 years, from like 1970 to 1984, it was the top girl wow. name. The number that's one. Yes. Wow, that's way too long. That's very long. I never <laughs> in my life was the only Jennifer ever at school. I always had to have my last initial or my last name. I was always the only Phil. Yeah. <laughs> Philip. I don't, I didn't, 
I don't go by Phil. Phil's not like a kid's name, I don't think. Philip is a kid's name. Like I can. I say... feel the inverse. I feel like Philip's an old white guy name. Oh really? <laughs> oh yeah. That's Philip. Well, I had. He I does guess, my taxes. You know why I get? Yeah, that's so funny. You say taxes <laughs> because my a very good family friend who's an accountant. Yeah. Um, His name is Philip. No, it was a oh, woman, but her okay. son's name was Philip. Oh. And um, but he always went by Philip, so that's maybe that's why I associated yeah, that's why with I know. Him. Uh, a kid. I always introduce myself as Philip. From yeah. that point on, I don't care what you call me. Oh, really? No, yeah. Most of my friends call me Phil. Everyone here calls me Phil. I try but to call you Philip. I don't think anyone's. I've, I I've, like I've never introduced Phillip. myself as anybody other than Philip. Yeah. Not for any reason. I get like I said. I don't. I don't yeah. care. It is. That's just. I think growing up, I was like that was just my name. My name is Philip, so I call. I tell people I'm Philip. Yep. From that point on, you can call me whatever you want. <laughs> JK MNOP pronounced Noel. That's <laughs> <laughs> Noel. Ghost who said my IRL name is Silas. Growing up in a country town, I've heard more incorrect pronunciations than I can count. <laughs> I cannot imagine what that's I like. I love that name, Silas. Feel. Yeah, Gabe called me Feel. Feel. I'm out of frame again. I don't know how Jason does this. Paints this far away from himself. Is it, are his glasses like, where are his glasses? Oh, he took them. Dang it. Oh, he took them. <laughs> I was going to put his glasses on and see if they're like magnifying glasses. The magic glasses. They are magnifying yeah. glasses. Of course they are. That makes sense why he can paint this far away. I'm like, yeah. I, uh, trying not to lean into the microphone bump my head. I've got a pair around somewhere, probably on no. the top shelf. I'd have to get there. prescription ones, cause I, or I'd have to put them over my current glasses. Oh, yeah. I yeah. Know that, uh, they probably wouldn't work. I'm going to buy one of those big like magnetic yeah. goggle ones. Anytime I stream, I'm just going to wear those. Yes. No, Jason does not have young eyes. He has to wear readers. He does. That's the thing. Watts said, see, I'm the opposite. I was called Eddie growing up, so now I despise when people call me it. Eddie? Oh, that was sarcasm about Jason <laughs> having young eyes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't, I, I, for some reason, have developed an aversion to Jennifer. I don't like Jennifer. Like, call me Jen. Yeah. Jason has this habit of introducing me to people as, as Jennifer, Jennifer. And I'm, like, I always kind of shoot him a look, like... <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> you should know better. Fine with calling him old as we were about the same age. See you, Gozu. See you tomorrow, maybe? Tomorrow? That's right. It'll be, it'll be Jen and Matt. T. Schmidt said, Phil, I use clip on readers when I paint. So you wear oh, glasses, yeah. T. Schmidt, and then you put the readers. That's smart. Front. I forgot you can get those. You That's don't know how weird idea. it gets until people get to know you have three names. Three names? Don't we all have three names? I don't know. First name, middle name, last name? Do you have three first names? Teeny tiny victories. Gotta get readers next time I get new glasses. I mean, it, they were a game changer for Jason. When he started actually using them? When I first started painting, three first names, two last names. Oh, wow. Three first names, two last names. That's My wild. cousin did that. When she had a baby, she, she gave that kid a bunch of names. She gave that kid a <laughs> bunch of names. That kid got names. She got Whole names. Whole mess of names. <laughs> Fine, Wad. I, I paint like... Once in never, and you, I'm going to paint tomorrow, and you're not going to be here. That's fine. Fine. Whatever. You just don't love her. It's fine. <laughs> See, I don't normally... I would, I would get clip-on readers. I don't... But I paint up here. Yeah. So I don't need them. Because this is well, how yeah. I sit and paint normally. <laughs> Until you're on stream. Until I'm on stream. Yeah. Exactly. Well, how often am I on stream? It's like yeah. the well, third time more. ever. If paint, right. If you paint on screen. Huh? I said, maybe you'll be on here more if you paint on screen. That's true. I know. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All right? I'm trying. General Ginkgo, my, my IRL name is Arthur, and that's how I introduced myself to be called. But you can tell who has known me since childhood because I went by Artie. I had a football coach who asked if I preferred Arthur, Artie, or Art. I 
told him to pick your favorite, and he decided on Arthur Artie Art instead. <laughs> really, <bad. laughs> awesome. I used to do um, on like the first day of school, taking attendance. I'd be like, okay. If you go by a different name, a nickname, a shortened version of your name, your middle name, whatever, now is the time to tell me because tell me I am now. starting to learn your names to your, match your names to your faces. I had this whole process of how I would remember names because I'm bad at names and faces. And they were all really good about it. 16 years of teaching. One kid, when One I shot. said that, he's like, I got to his name. His name was Justin. Called his name. He's like, I'm here. Like, but I I prefer Cornelius. <laughs> Cornelius. <I'm> like, you do? <laughs> He's like, Yep. I'm like, Well, all right then. That's gonna be your name when you're in this room. Can I call you Corny? <laughs> so I, I called him Justin Cornelius. Justin Cornelius. It was never just Justin. It was always Justin Cornelius. Justin Cornelius. Like there's some people that you that you know you always say their first and last name. Yeah. yeah. That was him, Justin Cornelius. My middle name is Arthur. Going back to Arthur. You know you need readers when you can't hold the model close enough anymore, and that's a fact. Yeah. <laughs> Probably need some readers. Oh my gosh, Clark John, that's amazing. I met my friend's dad as Guy. Guy? Or Guy, maybe. Uh, because that's how they pronounce it if they're French. Yeah. Uh... Turns out he had a super gangster name. Gaetano Vincenzo Antonio Santucci. <laughs> Santucci. That's oh a wow. That's a name. Dope name. You guys can call me that now. That's, <laughs> That's my new name. name here. He's not a new guy Phil anymore. He's Gaetano G. Vincenzo Antonio Santucci. <laughs> I will not take that shortened in any way, shape, yeah. or form. It will be the whole name every time. I demand please. that you address me by my full proper name. <laughs> my full proper name <laughs> that I've just learned just now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start adding some warm yellow. See if I can get get some of this going. <laughs> it's three forty nine already. Wow! It is three forty nine. Cruising. We are cruising. I just keeps going straight to that purple shoulder. But yeah, it's so good, color. dude. Pop. So good. So Phil, where do you go camping? Uh varies. I'm I'm trying to figure out this weekend where the weather's not going to be bad. Oh yeah, because it's supposed to rain. Huh? We're supposed it's to be raining. raining, and wherever it's not, like we were looking at flags near Flagstaff, and it's snowed on Thursday. Oh. Oh wow. And then sunny for the last two days, which means it's all muddy now. Yeah. So I'm not going there. Yeah, that's gonna um, be gross. That's gonna be gross. Um, then I was looking at Sedona, and Sedona's supposed to have like 24 mile an hour winds all Oof. all weekend. So I may just end up staying, staying home, and Camp uh, out in your backyard. Yeah, or just like go play pickleball. Or uh, yeah. Saturday is gonna be nice here. Saturday like. will be great here. I'm looking at the at the weather and it's 82, 82, 81, and then Sunday 62. Just oh, plummets with that rain. Great. Sunday, Monday rain. I'm all for that. Me too. I'm bummed that it's getting Sunday into Sunday will be a good. Lay on the couch day. Yeah. Watch the TV, snuggle with the dog. Mm hmm. Well, that's right. No Jason. No Jason. Second week in a row of ditched me. Abandoning us. 
I say that as someone who was also gone last week. But <laughs> yeah. now that I'm back and he's gone, I can be mad at him. Oop, I'm out of frame again. There we go. Hi, everybody. I'm back. Go to the superstitions? I could. I like, when I go camping, I like getting out of the valley. Yeah. Like a ways. I have a very special connection to the Superstition Mountains. I, when I first moved here, I was eight years old, and my grandparents lived here, and that's kind of why we moved here. Um, and at their house, they had this window that faced east, and it was just this big picture window uh, in their dining room. And so you'd sit at the dining room table, and my grandpa would sit there every morning with the paper. You'd get up at like crack of dawn, or yeah, probably before. Yeah, you gotta go get the paper. Get the paper yeah. Sit at the paper, read the paper from cover to cover, drink his coffee, and just look at the at the superstitions. And it was beautiful, and I loved the mountains. And he would tell me the story about the, the lost Dutchman and the gold mine and um, all the stuff. And yeah. we would go for walks. We, I mean, they. Thank you, YouTube. Hello. Um, it was far away. Um, but he lived in. They lived in an area where there was a little bit of like desert area where you could go walk around and stuff. And mm -hmm. um, so we would just go on these long walks, and he would tell me the stories. And um, and then I I drew it. I, so I would sit at the table and draw. And I'm not an artist by any means, but I was very proud of the picture of the mountains that I drew and colored, and because I had all the different shades in there. And, That's awesome. Yeah. Superstitions are beautiful. Superstitions. I like going and hiking them. I don't think I... I don't camp them. Yeah. Hmm. And it's how I always know which direction's east. That's, was, true. that's what he taught me. That. He's yeah. like, if you can yep. see those mountains, you know that you're... You're going east. east. Yep. That's smart. I always can tell where I'm going because I can mentally picture where my house growing up was in the valley. Yeah. And my house faced north. So yeah. I mentally... I don't know how I do it. I'm like, my house was there. That would face... North is that way, yeah. and then I can figure it out from there. Yeah. Which makes no sense. It's, it's, the, I mean, it's, it's the most lo roundabout way to get there. Well, but it works, though, for you. And, yeah. and the thing about Phoenix that's so easy is that everything's a grid. So yeah. you that is know very true, yeah. easily which way. I'm still developing my, Avenue, uh, but, my sense uh, of direction. Huh? I'm still developing my sense yeah. of direction because growing up back east, knowing which way was north or south, it didn't matter didn't because matter. the road didn't go that direction right. anyways. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, everything yeah. was just so windy and twisty and turny. You really needed to know your, your landmarks yeah. more than anything. Captain yeah. Man Rings for sure. Um, can you run through the colors of the cloth on the purple? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, it's a base of our dark purple. So you move it just a little bit more into frames. Oh, so there we, we go. go. Yep. It's okay, a base of our me, think, dark maybe. purple. No. <laughs> um, highlighted uh, with plum. There's plum. There's plum. Um, so you mix up your uh, transitions between dark purple and plum. And then from plum, I just mixed in a bit of titanium white to highlight that a little further to really get a hot spot on the shoulder. Mm -hmm. And then that was glazed over with my fluorescent purple. But I just applied the fluorescent purple glaze just to the highlights. Good. Looks great. All right. The highlights on the skin are looking really good, too. Thank you. Teeny Tiny Victory said, those are going straight on my shopping list. Straight on the shopping <laughs> list right great. now. Yeah, they're awesome colors. Mm -mm. The dark purple's been super useful, even in the flesh tones, um, mix like yeah. you know, mixing shadows and yep. things like that, just to, to neutralize the, the skin a little bit, mm -hmm. get some of those kind of warm gray colors going on. Um, are you guys okay going to like 410? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I should be good. Yep. Okay. Just because I got to go lock up. We could end now if you'd rather. Nah. But okay. Uh, I'm cruising. Right. Like I said, I'm just going to go home and keep working on it. Mm -hmm. 
sorry, dude. I'm. I, I love. I love painting. I hate the in between part where it doesn't look good yet. Yes. Like working up to it, where it's like I have little yellow on all this, like the little knobs and bits and stuff. And I'm like, I know those aren't going to be yellow later, but because they're like, and I've been avoiding them. Like once they end up like, I'm actually able to paint those higher parts. I'll be like more content. Right. But seeing them all like faded and like, I'm like, oh, that looks bad. But I just psych myself out. It's it's really easy to do that. Um, I mean, I, I I do it too. Where the very often I'll overpaint something or overwork yeah. it, and then you're just yeah you you feel like you're just stuck in the middle somewhere. Yeah. Or things aren't blending the way you want. Yeah, I do like how the armor's turning out. I'm very happy with the yellow. I think I went a little too. I was overpaint or underpaint. I feel like I. Mm -hmm. for like my shadows and stuff i always end up going too bright into the shadows because i'm always like oh that's too dark sure and then and then when i look back at it i'm like oh i totally could have left it the way it was that's all right i'm very content with it this was first try i haven't painted yellow armor ever in my life looks good it looks sharp so it's getting there i'm gonna get up to warm yellow and like you said i think i'm gonna do some pale yellow spot highlighting on places and then probably either glaze transparent yellow over it or just glaze the warm yellow back over it we're getting there Yellow is difficult. That's why I wanted to do it. I have 20 more of these guys. I don't know if you heard the beginning, Jeremiah. I have 20 more of these guys. This was number one. First base marine ever. First time doing yellow armor of any kind. So, I'm just playing right now. Seeing how it goes. Kind of just... Still working on the colors and how I want it. I think I have too many... I don't, know if the, I don't think I have too many layers. I think I have plenty of layers. I think I, I have too many layers. I'm covering up too much. I need to... I'm mean, gonna use so many colors. I need to make sure they're all like visible and play a part in the values that are shown. Mm -hmm. And so I think I I covered a bunch of the values that I could have left to give it more depth. Right now, at least on camera, it looks looks real bright. In person, it looks a little better. But like I said, once I finish all the knobs and bits and stuff later on, I might be I might be more satisfied with it. But I'm always I'm always yeah I know I'm I'm practicing because I have a I was telling people earlier, I have a, I want to submit Golden Demon next year. I'm spending this year, I have no intentions of winning by any stretch of the imagination. I'm setting it as a goal. Yeah. Um, purposely to and try and work intently on my techniques and work on like my technical skills. And so having a, you know, competition later down the line is, is a good motivator for me. So that's why I'm doing it. So I'm just doing one model at a time, working on some techniques that I don't normally use, like painting in yellow and like, yeah. Armor. I don't paint it armor ever. I'm more of a. I like flesh's flesh and. Dead, a dead stuff. stuff. I'm mostly dead flesh. I paint yeah. death armies for Age of Sigmar. So it's like I don't paint a lot of like non organic stuff. So I just need to work on it. So I want to work on it. So that's what I'm doing. And then, yeah. So we'll just take some warm yellow by itself now and blaze that up a little higher and see where we end up for the day. Yeah, Chuck, we actually like staying late here. Um, it's, it's surprising. It's a fun place to work. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things where our, we're very blessed. At least I feel very blessed. I won't speak for Matt, but I'm sure he agrees to some extent. Um, Jen and Jason have done a very wonderful job of making us feel not just like this is a place to come work and if, you know do something that we like, but also feel comfortable yep. in our work-life balance, feel comfortable... You know, hey, if we stay late to do some stuff, like, we're being taken care of. Yeah. Um, it's just a good place. And these are good people. And everyone everyone we work with are good people, too. Um, yeah, I don't mind staying a little late to just... I mean, I'm painting right now. But even, even like, we have people who stay late to finish stuff that they're working on. They yeah, wanna, just they, to get projects done. Yeah, projects done. Or just passionate about the work that they're doing. It's like, hey, I want to make sure this is done for our customers. Right. Um. And I don't see, like you said, you don't see that very many places. Right. All right. <clears throat> you ready to wrap up? I'm ready to wrap it up.
All right. It's 402. You said 410. Home. That was quick. That was a quick lockup. Yeah. I didn't actually wait till everybody. Oh. <laughs> just had to make sure the door was locked. I have to see. Oh, I mean, we're just painting, Jen. I'm, I'm perfectly content, Stan. Oh, Avian, do just get here. Avian, just get here? You know we end at four. <laughs> Hi, Avian. Bye, you're, Avian. You're here often enough to know we end at four. We end right But at four. we're happy that you were able to pop Yes, thank home. you for still coming. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get these links up here. The first one will be our store link. This is where you can find all of the paints, the brushes, yep. uh, and Matt's model. Matt's model, yeah, not yeah. mine. Yep. Nope, Samurai Girl, Samurai Girl is up there. All of our Pro Curl paints, Pro Sable and Synthetic brushes, Mind Work miniatures, Journeyman miniatures, our very own texture trainer, uh, facing textures, Evo bag, go bags, a whole go bag family of products, um, brush soap, all kinds of stuff. Anything all kinds of, everything you've seen today and more. If you want to possibly buy them locally rather than uh, ordering from our website we have our flgs link here which will take you to our store finder you can type in your zip code your postal code if you're outside of the u.s and you'll see the, the stores in your area that carry pro curl if you don't find one in your area go to your local store and say why do you not carry pro curl <laughs> leave them money tell them to email philip yeah tell them to email well, we'll e have them email support and support, yeah. we'll make sure Philip gets it. Then our community links, we have our Discord, which is an awesome place, fantastic community of painters, hobbyists, um, giving all kinds of tips and tricks, sharing, um, sharing their work in progress, um, food, pets, books, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Monthly challenges, everything. Well, uh, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> and then lastly is our YouTube link. That's where you'll find all of our past streams. Uh, they're there instantly now because we also are simultaneously streaming, streaming on, on YouTube. YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Um, there it is. Ghost, Ghost Hunter's got our numbers for Discord. Go <laughs> Once again. 3988 amazing artists in the Discord and a guy who likes to watch the drama. In the oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> We, we try and keep it drama free as much as we can. Yes. But sometimes we go to sleep and we miss things. Yes. Um, but it really is a fantastic community. YouTube has not only our past live streams, but also all of our shorts that we post um, usually weekly on social media. Uh, mm -hmm. If you don't follow yep. us on Instagram or Facebook, you can see those on YouTube. We have all of our past commercials on there, which are just hilarious they're always so, a good watch. So check those out always a good watch get an idea of who we are as a group yeah and that's it sweet sweet thanks we for coming by thank you everyone here yeah we stream monday through friday from two to four arizona time it is currently 405 so it is related subtract or add or whatever you need to do to convert that time to figure out when we start each day we'll be back tomorrow matt will be here again with us yes. yep yes. Yes. yes tomorrow and yep. i'm off tomorrow. Uh, and I think I'm going to paint, too. Yeah. I remember how. Beautiful. <laughs> and then we'll get Gabe over here in the producer's chair. So yes. Sounds great. Hopefully we'll see you again. If not, maybe next week. Um, but stick around. We're going to find someone to raid. If you're on YouTube and you want to continue watching painting, jump on over here to Twitch real quick and raid with us. Um, and we'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.